Hello everyone, welcome to my channel again. I have the MLLSE M2 Mini PC. It have Windows 10 pre-activated with the CPU and 3350. It's a li little bit slow. And this model have only 60 GB. So I added a new NVMe M2 SATA. Be careful, you will need a SATA SSD and not and not NVMe. You will need the old SATA M2. Also. I have this USB drive, I installed Ventoy on it and added the, the, this ISO image of Macrium Fisco Free Cell. Now I will move the windows from this old slow drive to this new bigger one. This is the type of SSD you need because it does not support NVMe. You will need the SATA M2 NGFF SSD. Reboot the computer and click delete to enter the BIOS. Go to the boot. Select your first boot option. To your USB. Also, I want to make the CPU faster. Should enable Turbo mode and max performance. After that, click F10 to save the settings or go to save changes and exit Ventoy from our our USB run select the Macrium risk free ISO that is copied into your USB pen drive and wait for it to boot after it boot up go to create backup select your main hard drive that have the windows installed then click clone this disk Select source Select the source The windows is small like me, drag it down like mine the windows is so small now this is the source select all partitions now select target Next, we should choose destination.
Careful guys in this step. Now the source is ready. The destination is ready. Click next. Then finish. Confirm the delete of all data in the destination volume and click continue. Cloning is starting now. If you want to buy this device, the link is in description. I did buy it from AliExpress. It have VGA port, HDMI port, LAN, jack for sound, two USB ports, 2.0, and two USB ports, 3.0, and SD card slot and a SATA M2 SSD slot in the back. After it finish, you need to delete to drive. drive and you will need to extend our new drive in allocated memory we should add it to our main disk space okay let's do that Reboot your computer again and enter the BIOS. This time we should make our new SSD as the first bootable drive. Now go down and select the hard, hard drive source. Choose your M2 SATA SSD. Mine is 256 GB. Make it first. As you see, it's the first one. Save and exit. The windows now will boot from our new SSD. So the computer boot, right click and search manage. Go to the disk manager. You can see our main hard drive and old hard drive let's delete the old one to edit the disk space i am installing aomi partition assistant okay this is our new space and this is our old disk. Let's delete our old disk first. Delete partition.
delete all partitions of all disks then click apply now you will need to create a new partition for disk D check and here it is our disk is ready let's go back to disk C and increase the inner allocated space right click Let's click on the inallocated partition, select merge partition and merge it with the disk C. Disk C now has increased in space. Click apply. Reboot is required. After some time your computer will reboot and do the editing then reboot again and boot to the windows automatically. As you see guys we did it successfully. Our new hard drive now have bigger space. If your mini PC is slow or the processor consuming 100% you can reduce that like mine by going to start up disable all auto start type programs you don't need also you can install CCleaner to clean your computer and disable any auto start up service you don't need Thank you for watching and goodbye.